Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Another Falcon 9 launch from Space Launch Complex 40 with another 22 Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. And liftoff. Go Falcon, go Starlink. And we have Falcon 9's first stage landing on Just Read the Instructions drone ship for the seventh time. It was the 17th launch and landing for Booster 1060. This is the second booster reaching this number after Booster 1058. Elon reacts, he said, rocket reuse is happening at scale. Now to the main event of the day, the OSIRIS-REx mission. After seven years from its launch and collecting about 60 grams of samples from asteroid Bennu, OSIRIS-REx spacecraft released the capsule containing a piece of asteroid Bennu and started its new journey. We will talk about that in another video. The capsule entered Earth atmosphere, the main parachute deployed, and we have touchdown. The OSIRIS-REx sample capsule landed at the Utah Test Centurion range, completing a 3.86 billion mile journey. The helicopter arrived to take the capsule to the clear room. OSIRIS-REx team very happy with the helicopter arriving with the capsule and the samples inside. That's a big toothbrush, or we can say a capsule brush. And it's time to move it inside the clean room. This is temporary clean room. In the next few hours, they will transport it to NASA's Johnson Space Center. And after that, of course, opening the capsule and securing the samples. Not related to space, but it could be if they sent Optimus to Mars before humans. We now know that Optimus is able to sort objects autonomously. Elon said we will definitely aim to maximize local safety of Optimus. It needs to be easy to pause using a remote or your phone with no centralized override. Let's end this video with Shenzhou 16 Taikonauts playing with fire at Tiangong Space Station. I'm 100% sure we won't see similar footage at the International Space Station. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.